Hey Leo, we're here for your weekly tarot love reading June 17th through to June 23rd. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for any of you dealing with a Leo romantically. Please do keep in mind Leo, it's a general reading, it may or may not resonate, you're welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Before we jump in, I do want to remind you I have my Etsy shop available, so if you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I offer them through Etsy. They are a different style than what I do on YouTube. I do not offer video readings through Etsy, but I do offer written readings. So if you'd like to check it out, the link is in the description box below this video. So let's get to it, Leo, and let's see what's coming toward you in love for this week. First card out, Two of Swords. We're starting out with some indecisive energy here, Leo. You could be feeling like you're at a bit of a crossroads this week. There could be some sort of choice or decision in your love life that you are struggling to make. If you're currently involved with somebody romantically, you could feel like the two of you are at a crossroads. You're at an impasse. You're not sure how to move forward. It could also be with the two of swords that somebody is stalling the progression of the relationship. So you might find that the person that you're involved with is not moving things forward. Or maybe you're the one who's holding back and not feeling ready to move things forward. But I definitely see here that there is a sense of being stuck and a sense of not being sure what the next step is for you when it comes to love. Now, for those of you who are single, it just looks like there's something here this week that's making you feel stuck when it comes to love. Maybe something that's preventing you from opening up your heart, something that's making you feel cautious about putting yourself out there. So if there is something here that's holding you back in terms of your love life, I do encourage you to think about what that is for you, Leo. But let's keep going and see where this takes us. Tell me what's coming toward Leo. Okay, wow. So we've got the two of cups here. As a standalone card, this is an absolutely beautiful energy. This is a card of divine partnership. This is a card of a beautiful union. Two people who love each other. Two people who want to be together. Now, the struggle that I see here is that with the two of cups, there's very strong feelings and emotion attached to this energy. But it's a little bit concerning to me that the first card that we had was the Two of Swords, because like I said, something's not really moving forward. Something is stuck. And I feel like what could be happening here is that somebody has very strong feelings for another person. So maybe you have strong feelings for your person or vice versa, but things are not really moving forward. And a little bit of a challenge here that could be showing up, and I encourage you to watch out for this, Leo. Sometimes when we get together with somebody, we attach this label to it and we look at this person and we're like, I found my soulmate, I found my person. But then what sometimes happens is things don't progress the way that we had hoped. And sometimes we have to find a way to detach from that label. It almost feels to me like, you know, I keep it real with you guys. <laughs> you know, I feel like there's maybe a little bit of rose colored glasses energy going on here where you look at this person and you're like, they've got to be it. They've got to be my soulmate. They've got to be my person. But yet there's some big challenges coming up with the two of swords. Things are not moving forward. Somebody's feeling uncertain about the relationship, but it's almost like I feel a lack of an acceptance here that things are not perfect. Like that's what I'm intuitively picking up on here is somebody who doesn't want to face the reality that there is a bit of a struggle right now. And we will look more at that within the reading Leo to get some deeper insight. But I think you want to be careful here for some of you about not attaching this label of soulmate to somebody who hasn't earned it or somebody who hasn't totally shown up in a way that demonstrates their willingness to commit to you and to move the relationship forward. So let's keep going with this and see where it takes us. We're going to get one more for the overall energy. Let's see what we've got here. And then we got the Knight of Wands. So this is fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, so this is a very fast moving energy. This could be a good thing, Leo. I mean, in terms of the progression of the energy for this week, we are seeing some momentum here picking up with, oh, <laughs> it's my kitty cat, within the energy because like I said, we start out feeling stuck. We start at an impasse. We start with things not moving forward. We get the two of cups, which indicates that there is a connection here, possibly a strong connection between you and this person. And then we move on to the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands, like I said, it's about momentum. It's about energy. And so this could indicate 
a possible positive trajectory here where you're feeling stuck with your person, but things could be shifting and changing within the dynamic this week. So I'm hoping that this is moving things in a positive direction where for those of you who are with somebody right now and you're feeling like you're stuck, potentially with that Knight of Wands, things could be shifting and the energy could be moving this week in order to get some progression happening within this connection. So here's what I wanna do, you guys. I want to look into this more to kind of get some insight into what's happening with your person and what's happening with you. So we're going to look at them. We're going to look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then I'm going to look at the same thing for you, Leo. And then we will look at the potential outcome. So let's try to get to the bottom of what's going on in this situation. So tell me about this person who Leo is involved with, please. Okay. Eight of swords. Okay. Here's the problem. You guys, right off the bat, the tarot is like, let me explain what's happening here. So I think you're dealing with somebody who struggles with freedom, like, you know, somebody who struggles to be like locked down or tied down in a relationship. I feel like you're dealing with somebody where when things start to get serious within a relationship, all of a sudden they start freaking out and they're like, am I losing my freedom? Am I, lo am I losing my independence? Because I think that there are certain people who associate being in a relationship with losing their independence. And they view it as like giving themselves over to a relationship and then feeling as if they're gonna lose their sense of self. So I think that this is the struggle here. It's like things might feel good with the two of you, but as they start to get more serious, your person starts to feel trapped. Your person starts to feel anxious. Your person starts to get up in their head and then they start to experience these doubts about their relationship, which is what is causing them to slow down and stall the progression of things. Tell me more about this person, please. And then the Ace of Swords. Okay, that's good, you guys. I mean, the Ace of Swords is about a breakthrough moment. The Ace of Swords is about a moment of clarity. So it's actually quite positive to have the Ace of Swords following the Eight of Swords, because to me, it does suggest the possibility here for your person to have some sort of breakthrough moment and some sort of epiphany. So this is looking positive and we're going to keep going with it, Leo. But what I'm hoping here is that your person is going to have a realization about how they've been holding themselves back within this connection because of their fears and their anxieties and their insecurities. And I feel like there could be an opportunity here potentially for the two of you to have a conversation about this. Let's get one more for your person's overall energy. And then we got the five of wands. Yeah. Okay. So this is your person having their inner conflict. I don't think the issue here is that this person doesn't have feelings for you, Leo. I think the issue is your person's own fears about being tied down within a relationship and losing their freedom and independence. So the five of wands to me really represents that internal struggle that they have where part of them wants to fight for the relationship and then part of them wants to pull back because they don't want to lose themselves within a relationship. They might even sometimes hear Leo with this energy, they might pick fights with you to kind of push you away. So they might do that as a strategy, probably not consciously, but probably unconsciously as a way to kind of create some distance within the relationship. So I see here that your person is navigating their own internal battle of what they want. And it's about them being able to reconcile this fear that they have that if they get into a relationship, it means that they're going to be tied down and lose their independence. Because I don't know about you guys, but to me, being in a relationship and being in love is one of the most amazing and freeing experiences. Like, I don't associate being in a relationship in any way with me losing my independence and not being able to do what I want. So I feel like it's about being able to recognize that for your person, but it's going to be a realization that they're going to have to come to on their own. So let's see what they're feeling this week. Tell me what this person is feeling. Six of Pentacles, okay. So I see that they're trying to bring their circumstances into balance here. Tell me more about what this person is feeling. King of Swords, clarity, that's good. I gotta say here, Leo, there are some positive cards coming through for your person that do indicate a level of self-awareness here. And I honestly feel like that is really important because when it comes to what's happening, like I said, your person has to be in the driver's seat of understanding their fears and anxieties. You can't do the, that for them. They have to have that realization on their own. So I feel like they are going to be getting clear about their feelings. It's probably related to that Ace of Swords. Tell me more about what they're feeling. And then the Empress. Things are kind of looking up here, Leo. So the Empress is about a very nurturing and loving, abundant and caring energy. And Perhaps what's happening is that your person is looking at the situation with you and them 
and they're like, okay, I've got these fears. I'm scared of being tied down. I'm scared of being in a committed relationship. But then on the other hand, they can't deny the feelings they have for you. And so that's the internal battle that they're waging, right? So it's like, they're trying to figure out like, what do I do? Because I don't wanna lose Leo. I do wanna nurture this connection. But then I also notice when things start to get serious with Leo, it gets scary for me. And I think your person is recognizing that. I'm actually seeing some good self-awareness here, Leo. So let's see what actions they're taking. The sun, beautiful. Some of you guys are actually dealing with a fellow Leo romantically, which is really cool. Um, I love a Leo-Leo pairing. I think it's really, really, it can be really fun. It can be challenging with anything, but I do see here that you're potentially dealing with a fire sign or just generally someone who is wanting to bring that happiness and joy into the connection. I feel the fact that the sun is showing up in your person's actions is demonstrating that they have this desire here to bring this happiness into the connection. And I feel like they have this desire here to make you happy. So when it comes to the indecisive energy that we saw, the two of swords at the very start of the reading, I don't think the indecisiveness is about you. I think it's about your person's own personal fears and insecurities related to relationships in general and not an indecisive energy about you as a person, if that makes sense. Because when I first saw the two of swords, part of me was like, does this person want to be with you? Is there a compatibility issue? I don't think that's what it is. I think it's more your person just gets a little freaked out when things get serious. So they're going to have to work through that. <laughs> Tell me what actions they're taking this week, please. Three of Pentacles. Look at that, you guys. That's actually really gorgeous. I love this card. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is about working through issues. Literally what I said before I pulled this card. So I feel here that Honestly, your person is going to recognize that their behavior and the way that they're showing up for you this week is creating challenges and stagnation within your relationship. But as far as I can tell here, Leo, they are committed to trying to work through those issues. So this is actually moving in a positive direction, which is mirrored with what we saw in the overall energy, right? We saw the progression from the Two of Swords to the Two of Cups to the Knight of Wands. So this is indicating a positive trajectory. Let's get one more for your person, Justice, okay? Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Libra, but look at that. Your person is working to bring things into balance. Your person is... Um, really trying to put themselves in your shoes, Leo, and understand how you're feeling and how their actions are impacting you. I, I just have to say here, like when I first started the reading with the Two of Swords, I was like, I don't know, guys, we're going to have to see where it goes. But as we're getting into your person's energy specifically, it's honestly looking positive because <laughs> what do I always say to you, Leo? You got to have the self-awareness, right? None of us are perfect. We all bring our baggage and our stuff into relationships. That's not a problem per se. But what is important is that each of us has self-awareness about what's coming up for us and how we're being triggered so that if there is something impacting the connection, we have the wherewithal to work on that and to really just, you know, deal with those issues and move forward. And I will say in terms of what I see for your person's energy, I do see that level of self-awareness here. And I just think that's so important. So let's look at you and then we'll look at the potential outcome at the end. So let's look at you first, Leo. Okay, beautiful, Ace of Wands. Obviously, you've got a very strong attraction for this person. You feel the sparks, you feel the fire. Like I said, we got that fire energy again. There's probably a very strong physical attraction between the two of you. Tell me more, temperance. I think you got a lot of love for this person, Leo. And I think it goes back to, you know, that two of cups that I saw earlier in the reading. Obviously, there are very strong feelings here between you and this person. And I really think that's keeping you holding on to this connection. Temperance is fire energy, by the way. <laughs> it's Sagittarian energy. And so thank you, Frankie. So yeah, I just, I feel that there's a lot of love here. I feel that you definitely, I don't know, you want to make it work with this person. So even though it could be frustrating to you that this week, it feels like it starts out a little bit with things being at a standstill. I don't think you're just like giving up and walking away from this. I think you're, you're wanting to work on this. Hello, Frankie. <laughs> this is my little furball. Okay, tell me more about Leo, please. And then we've got the Fool. Beautiful. I mean, this is a card about new beginnings. This is a card about taking a leap of faith. And I think you're just hoping that you and your person are going to be able to get unstuck from whatever this Two of Swords energy is. I think you're feeling optimistic. I think you're feeling hopeful that things can work out. You're feeling like there is the potential here for things to move in a good direction. I mean, you probably have a good sense of self-awareness as well, Leo, and you're probably looking at this and 
I, I'm getting a very intuitive energy coming from you. I feel like you're looking at your person, you feel them being indecisive, but you also have a good sense of why that's happening. Like you might be looking at them and you might understand that they have these fears and that they come like, like they get a little bit freaked out sometimes when it comes to commitment. And I think that you're you're not giving them a pass on it, but I think that you're giving them the space to explore those feelings because you feel this connection. And honestly, Leo, I think in your heart, you're just kind of trusting the process and you're looking at it and you're like, OK, well, that's for them to work through their indecision. Their doubt is something that they need to grapple with. But I think you're going to give them that time and space because you know that there's a strong connection and you're ultimately just hoping that they feel the strength of that connection as well. So they're going to stick around. Tell me what Leo is feeling this week, please. <laughs> I love that. Here you are in your queen of wands energy. You're feeling powerful, charismatic, confident. You know your value, Leo. I love that for you. Tell me more, please, about what Leo is feeling. The five of cups. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you're disappointed with what's going on here with that five of cups. That makes complete sense to me. As much as you may have a level of understanding about what your person is going through, it doesn't mean that it doesn't suck, right? I mean, it hurts when somebody who we're with pulls back, even if we understand the reason why. And so I do see that there is a little bit of that hurt. There is a bit of that disappointment. I mean, in an ideal world, your person wouldn't be having this indecision. But the reality is that life is messy. People are messy. Feelings are messy. Stuff like this comes up. It doesn't mean your relationship is doomed by any way, shape or form, but it is hard to deal with. So I do see a little bit of that disappointment in your feelings. And then the King of Cups. But we get right back to that emotional stability. I honestly am just getting this really powerful energy for you, Leo. It feels really good where I just think you're confident. You know who you are. You know your value. You love this person. You're super into them. And I think, honestly, I just keep picking up on the energy of in your heart. You're just trusting the process that keeps coming up for me. And at the end of the day, one of two things is going to happen here your person is either going to realize that you're amazing and they don't want to lose you and they're going to step it up or, you know, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out. I don't see that in the energy, but it is a possibility. But even in the event that it didn't work out, your level of confidence and self-assuredness is going to propel you forward. So if it doesn't work out with this person, you're going to be able to look at it and be like, you know what, that sucks, but there will be somebody else because I deserve amazing love. So I want you to like tap into that confidence and ride that confidence, Leo, because at the end of the day, our self-worth is not determined by our relationship status. And so I think you're doing a really healthy job here of keeping those separate. You want it to work with this person, but you're also going to be fine if it doesn't. Tell me what actions Leo is taking this week. The world. Beautiful. I honestly think you're just doing things that make you feel happy and fulfilled and satisfied. You're living your best life. Tell me more, please. The moon, okay? The moon represents things that tend to be hidden. I almost wonder if you're gonna go to your person and share some of your feelings. Maybe you're gonna go to them and be like, look, I really like you. I know you're going through some stuff. I respect that and I'm happy to give you space. But I also just wanna be honest with you about how this is making me feel. It's making me feel a little anxious. It's making me feel a little insecure. And so again, it's like the energy I'm picking up on for you is just a very healthy, oh my, <laughs> hi Frankie, a very healthy and balanced energy where you're very in tune with your emotions. We did see the King of Cups showing up within your emotions. I think you've got high emotional intelligence. I think you do a really good job of communicating your feelings and articulating your feelings. And if you're feeling anxious or unsure you know, with this situation, I think you're going to do a really nice job of kindly and tactfully like letting your person know, okay, so I know you're going through your stuff, but just so you know, it impacts me as well. Here's how I'm feeling. Here's what's going on. Cause I just want you to understand where I'm coming from as well. Okay. Oh my goodness, Frankie. <laughs> Let's get one more for what actions you're taking. And then the Knight of Pentacles. I love that. So we got earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. <laughs> Okay, so with that energy, it's a beautiful energy of building a solid foundation. And honestly, the Knight of Pentacles is about not having to move things too quickly. So when it comes to this person, to me, the Knight of Pentacles in your actions tells me that you're going to be happy to slow things down. You're going to be happy to give them the space that they need to sort out their feelings. 
you're not rushing anything. You're not going to put any pressure on them to make any sort of decision about this situation. I think you're going to respect giving them that time and that space that they need. And you're not rushing anything because here's the thing, you guys, at the end of the day, if you really feel that this is your two of cups, your soulmate, the person who you're meant to be with, you got a whole lifetime to live together. So if you need to slow things down right now so that your person can figure out their feelings, I think you're happy to do that. Again, because you've got that level of uh, emotional maturity that you're bringing into the situation here, okay? All right, <laughs> so let's look at the potential outcome. Oh my goodness, hi Frankie. Let's look at the potential outcome here. She's gonna try to climb onto my head. That's what we love to do. She loves to play in my hair. This little lion here is obsessed with my hair. It's very fascinating. I've never had a cat like that before, but you know, she's how Frankie rolls. <laughs> All right, can we see what the potential outcome is here, Frankie? Let's take a look. Let's get through here. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Look at that, okay? So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, look at this outcome. Ten of Pentacles here. We're absolutely gonna take that. That's a beautiful card, you guys. So given everything that we've talked about in the reading, I don't think you should be surprised to see this as the final card. The Ten of Pentacles, for those of you who are not familiar with it, this is about building a happy life with somebody setting down roots, building a stable life, building a foundation, building a family legacy. And so everything that we've looked at today, it does indicate that even if you start out this week and it's a little bit uncertain and somebody's feeling stuck and things are not really moving forward, again, if you kind of like trust your heart, I think Leo, and give this situation space to breathe, from what I can see here, your person is gonna sort through whatever their issue is, whatever's got them feeling stuck right now, I think they have the potential here to really just work themselves through it. And once they work themselves through that energy, the two of you can really go back to the business of just charging forward in your relationship and um, building a beautiful life together. So yeah, I, I think it looks good, you guys. Like I said, it might start out a little bit slower at the start of this week, but my sense is that by the end of the week, you could definitely be back on track. So it's looking good. I'm going to leave it there for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Like I said, if you would like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. They are not video readings. They are written tarot readings. And the link is in the description box below this video. And uh, yeah, just wishing you guys so much love and so much happiness for this week. And we'll talk again soon. Bye guys.